In today's video, I'm going to show you guys seven macOS applications that I'm using daily and you should use this as well. So let's jump into the video. Case is called Cloud Monitor and this application is really, really good. So what it does, it will open like this one. And the thing is that you can connect all kinds of services. So for example, I have connected Google Drive, but it will connect as a hard in my computer. So if I go into Finder, how you can see here, I have Cloud Monitor. When I click on it, I have all of my files from Google Drive directly here mounted in, in Finder for macOS. And believe it or not, this app is really useful for me because if I want something, all I have to do is just copy and paste it and it will just appear here. Or if I want to copy and paste it, it, it will automatically go on my Google Drive, which is amazing. I really love this application. It's a must for me and if you use a lot of storage, well, cloud storage, this application, I will say it's a must for you. Now, the next application is called Mosio, so something like this. It does have a, a pro version that you have to pay, but the one that I'm showing you is free. So how you can see, you have here unlock access to, you know, all access lifetime is $6.99, but for what I needed, I don't, I don't need to pay. So what this application does, you can control your mouse using your keyboard. Now, people will say, ah, oh, why do I need this? And believe it or not, it's actually really useful. So you put a shortcut and you, how you can see, you have all kinds of shortcuts here, all kinds of things that you can add that the developer put here. And you either control your mouse like normal, or if you're on the, you know, on the computer, I can use WASD to control my mouse. And it's very useful, believe it or not. I never thought I would use it, but I'm using it. Now space is my click, and I can see I can move everything, and I'm doing every single thing using my keyboard. This application is amazing. I really love it, to be fair. And uh, yeah, it helps me a lot because I don't have to go with my hand and stuff like this. Or even sometimes I use an Apple Watch, Apple Watch, Apple Mouse, sorry. And you know, the charging port is on the bottom. Well done, Apple. And sometimes I'm running out of battery, but I still need to use my computer. I, I just use this application. It's amazing. It's, it's really helpful for me at least. So yeah, Mouse C, it's free to download. You have to pay for the pro version, but the feature that you need to control the mouse and you know, open the way everything that's free. So if you like it, you have a link in the description below. Now, the next one, it's a free application called Prio Space. And this one is available on the App Store. And what it does is how you can see it focus on you. So you can add timer here, for example. So focus timer, you can add sound and things like this, you know, for making YouTube videos. And you can put like a preset, how long do you need to make the YouTube video and stuff like this. You can click play and then it will start doing, but let's click stop. It will start doing everything and it's the thing is that it's like a calendar but it's open source nobody has your data it's local and everything you can add habits here for example so all habits add a new habit let's call make video tu video tutorials choose a category but i don't have any created so create a new category and here category name uh, youtube content Select the color, let's select the blue one, create category, and now this will be in the new category. I can add the habit. And now you can say how long or zero days complete this month. So how, how long do you want to do it? So I'll say, let's put like this. So I have five days, five days, so 10 days to complete this month. That's perfect for me. You can add more, you can add like individual habits and stuff like this but that is perfect for me. So if you want to add a new habit, but this is the perfect for me. So how you can see, make YouTube video to make video tutorials and make YouTube videos, which is here. If I click on it, it will say it's completed. It's a free application that you can track your habits, track everything, see how much you did. For example, for today, which is the eight, I complete them. For tomorrow, cause I put multiple days, I didn't complete them. So you can just take them and stuff like this. That will be perfect if you do extra and stuff like this. It's an easy way to track your habits, to track everything you're doing. So yeah, Prior Space, it's a free application that you can download on the App Store. Now, the next application is called Focus C. Now, this application is the one that I'm using right now to record my screen. So all you see, the camera that you have, because I can change the camera resolution, well, the camera to look a little bit different and stuff like this. But the camera that you see that is put whatever I will choose to put it, 
you you know the zoom in animation that when i click it will zoom in and stuff like this every single thing does automatically for me i just click record put my microphone put my camera and it does automatically for me this application is amazing it's something like screen studio but it has more features than screen studio now the thing with this application is that when i use it i use it well i'm not paying for it to be fair okay let's go on google focus see so how you can see here if you're going on their website you can see their pricing and you have multiple options so if you want to pay one month it's 19.99 now for me it's british pounds keep this in mind because i'm in uk britain now for a year 750 per month which is 89.99 per year or one-time purchase of 147.99 but this one-time purchase it's only limited to focus e 2.x so when 3.0 will come out you will not get the update so it's kind of, mm. but this one you will do get the update, but you're a subscription base. Now, I'm, I said I'm not paying for it because I have a setup subscription. Now, it's actually available on setup, and this is how I have it right now. I'm using it via setup, and it's actually amazing. I, I use setup for a lot of things, and how you can see, focus see is over here. I use setup for a lot of things, a lot of applications that I found on setup. They're amazing. And since I'm paying $9.99 per month with setup, I have this one, which if you think about it, it's $19.99 per month if you're paying a monthly subscription or it's $9.99 with setup. It's actually, it's a no brainer. I would choose setup. But yeah, if you want to choose setup, I have a link in the description for, for setup. It does it as an affiliate link, so it will help you a little bit if you purchase a subscription from there. But yeah, this is Focus C. This is what I'm using and I really love this application a lot. Now, the next one is called VidCap. Now, what VidCap does, this is an application that would automatically add captions. So far, you can see I have a short here that I posted on YouTube. All I have to do is just add this short here. And it will automatically ask me video language if you want to translate the subtitles, but I don't want to translate because it's written in English. So I'll generate the subtitles and it does everything automatically for me. This app is amazing. I love it. So how you can see now... and it has things so you can go on text here and you can modify every single thing like the the style of the text how you'll appear like a single word for example and you can see here it's just one word a uh, word that fade and how you can see here it's just you know fading you have a lot of options you know on how to do it now this again and how you can see it's working perfectly now again this one i got it through the setup app now, if you're going to pay for this one, yeah, so how you can see VidCap Pro for one year, it's $59.99 or for one month, it's $9.99. And I believe it's an amazing deal. I'm paying $9.99 for setup anyway. So VidCap and Focus C, I get them both for $9.99 per month, but it is amazing. And again, you have a setup link in the description if you do want to join setup. Now, the next application is called Dory. Now, I love this application. What this is, it's a uh, app switcher. So I just hold Alt and you can see all the apps that I have available. Well, I have open at the moment, so I can just click on it. Now, I know this application, you can just do Alt tab and open whatever application you want. But for me, it's much easier because I'm just holding one button and then I just use my mouse and open whatever application I want from here. It's, it's a lifesaver for me. I will not lifesaver, but it's more convenient to be fair. So yeah, this is Dory. You can find it on the App Store. It costs $4.99 if I remember correctly in British pounds, but it's a really useful application. And at least for me, you know, it helps me. It looks, it looks great, I have to admit. Now this new application, I didn't personally try it, but I know there's a lot of people who doesn't like the new UI from Mac OS Ahoy, which is the glass one. Well, this one is solely glass, a very simple application to disable liquid glass effect in specific applications. So how you can see here, you know, this one doesn't have any more liquid glass. You have some, some, you know, some examples here. Now I do love the new liquid glass. It's not for me, but this one is a free and open source application from GitHub. I'll leave a, leave a link in the description below if you do want to try it. Now, the last one that I want to talk about is called Comet and is the browser from Perplexity. Now, why do I like this browser a lot? For example, this one is my TikTok. It's my TikTok channel, right? 
and let's see that I can you can generate the assistant from here and you can ask a question but you can ask questions like really really you know deep question and it will do the thing for you so for example I'll say like this check my entire channel and see what I can improve to get more views because on TikTok I don't really post I have like five videos and those ones is kind of like the account is kind of new so and I'll click okay and how you can see here it will analyze and it will start going in every single thing possible to check so how you can see the thing is blue right now and this is him right now literally clicking on my videos clicking on everything to take the analytics to take everything from my channel I, automatically it does this automatically it's amazing i really really love it and you can do multiple things with it you can ask it to search for promo codes on something that you want to buy on amazon you can ask it to you know literally when you ask it for amazon to, uh, for example it will check for promo codes on the internet and it will test them for you as well to make sure that they work if they don't work it will go to the next one and the next one until you found one that it works it's a really really useful application but for example for me who i'm doing content creation it will check everything and tell me what i'm doing wrong what can i do to improve what can i do to you know give an idea and stuff like this and you can actually check more in details if you want so you can go on youtube you can go on all kind of website and you can ask do this take this information and stuff like this and you'll automatically check the entire website check everything to make that thing that you asked for it is really good so we're going to wait here to uh, for the program to finish and how you can see you can see here what it's actually doing right now and here we go so based on my comprehensive analysis on TikTok channel, Tech for Life 91, and research currently, and you have all this information. So channel information, video that's the best server at, at 15, that's the one that my daughter did. Now, key issue identified, critical attention problem. Most viewers stop watching at 0102 cross videos. This is a big issue. You're losing 90 plus percent of viewers in the first second. <laughs> that's, that's encouraging. <laughs> Large gaps between uploads, July, August, October. And how you can see, no consistent content ribbon, low engagement rate. So fix your hook, priority number one, your attention dropped immediately, which means your opening seconds are uncompelling. Implement the three second rule, and it literally gives every single thing here, all the information. Now, again, if I want to go on youtube.com, for example, right? And how you can see, this is my channel, tech for life, everything. Now, search on YouTube, channels that are competing with my channel tech for life and how you can see it literally start doing what you're asking for so you will go on youtube and start searching for uh, channels that is competing with me and stuff like this now this is what i use it for content creation this is my way of using it this is yours yours will be different you can ask it to search for promo code you can ask it to do whatever you want you can ask it to do all kind of things how you can see server builds mac os tech tutorials home automation self-hosting it will check everything it will scroll it will do every single thing for me it's an amazing browser now the problem with this one is privacy i cannot guarantee what privacy you have i don't know what data it collects i know it's a really good browser i'm expecting it takes a lot of data so if you're something that you know cares about privacy this app is not for you but if you understand that the world today goes with data they will steal your data and everything then you're more than welcome to try it it's free to download at the moment it was with pay but now it's free and uh, yeah maybe you will enjoy it but yeah, this is my top macOS application that I'm using daily. If you do like it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next one.